Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to another Blood Splattered vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And given current events, let's talk about a rape revenge film, because that's topical. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw Revenge. <laughs> yep. Uh, which is a English language film by a female French filmmaker uh, in the vein of I Spit on Your Grave, though it is a very different film than I Spit on Your Grave, but it's it's the yeah, same. It like, is it is not nearly it's as the same genre. Yeah, same <laughs> genre, but it's not nearly as grueling an experience. Well, it's 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 interesting. Um, we can get more to, into it when we talk about uh, more overt spoilers. But like this film, I Spit in Your Grave, filmed its rape scenes in a very objective way because the idea is you are the observer, you are watching this. Why are mm -hmm. you letting this happen? Yeah. Why are we why are we as a society letting this happen? This is what rape is. This is what you're this is what you're enabling. This is what you're not helping women prevent. Why aren't you? That's the yeah. that's the purpose of I Spin Your Grave. This movie is way more about getting you into the main character, the girl's position, her point of view, and feeling what she's feeling. Yeah. That this movie it's a little bit more subjective. Um both have their merits. <laughs> Oh yeah. Both, oh yeah. That's not to knock I Spit on Your Grave. I love I Spit on Your Grave. Both have their merits. I'm just explaining the difference in approaches in these two movies. Yeah. The well, one of the big differences, since we've spoiled the fact that it's a it's a it's a rape revenge movie. Yes. Um <laughs> first of all, the rape is relatively quick. Oh yeah. And it's it's horrifying, but it's realistic in another way. Yeah, yeah, it's oh god! Like you, you totally like you, when it happens, you're sitting there and you're just going like, oh man! Yeah, like, this is probably how it goes down. This feels yeah. right. This feels way too yeah. right. This feels way too fucking right. Yeah, and I don't like that I'm having that 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 thought. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You this know? is this is this is not like hey, let's get let's find a woman and gang rape her. This is wait, I thought this. Shit goes too far to party. Yeah, shit goes too far to party, and Basically. dude doesn't stop. Yep, dude does you not know? say no. People had a little too much to drink. But what I one thing I really like about this movie is I think it's a really great metaphor overall for the way society handles rape. Oh because yeah, because the real killer in this movie, the real the thing that really sets everything over the edge and turns everyone into irredeemable monsters that should she should get revenge on and yeah. fucking destroy. It's not even the rape. The rape is awful. And it's bad, and it traumatizes her, and the, there is no undercutting that. However, the cover-up. Yeah, the cover-up is what really... When, when the person who didn't rape her and was supposed to be on her side turns on her. Yep. You know, when the people start protecting the person who did do the rape. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when they start tossing her aside. That is the true crime in this movie beyond everything else. Yeah. And I love that because... That is a great metaphor for everything. Yes, you know it's yeah, a great metaphor agreed. for the way things happen. It's it's it's, it's done in a small scale in this movie, but I love it. Yeah, it's basically four people in a desert. Yep, yeah. I love that because that isolates everything. You know, because she can't she can't even run away. Because if she were, she'd just be in the desert. There's yeah. no like the nearest town. She doesn't even know the direction of the nearest town. Yeah, she can run away, but where's she running to? And she's flown into this place. She's never been here before, so she has no idea where she is. There's no place place for her to go. All she can really do is secure the place they're in, but that requires getting rid of the guys that don't want her there because now she is a problem because one of them raped her and they got to cover that up because think of their futures. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, like part of the other, the other part is the fact that the three guys are all smugglers. Yes, yes. And they don't want to get caught. They don't want to get caught. Um, they're also like rich upper class, so yeah. they have like their status to think of. Even the even the thought of turning in his friend, like, <laughs> is too much because that might implicate him. That might hurt yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even though he didn't commit the rape, you know. It's... Yeah, yeah. The main that's that's, that's not, another interesting thing. The, the main, main villain, villain is not the rapist because it's her boyfriend. The main villain is 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 her boyfriend, and her boyfriend's not the rapist. He just covers it up for them. Yeah, <laughs> you know, for him because there's only one rapist in this movie, and the other three are just bastards, or the yeah. other two are bastards. Yeah. Um. The other thing I really like about this movie is that this is not your typical um. It's not your typical white girl on TV crying victim. Oh, no. This is the character that everyone in society would probably look at and go like, oh, she was asking for it. Or, oh, oh yeah. she deserved it. Yeah. Because, first off, she is a super sexual young woman. Yeah. Who flew off with uh, her boyfriend, but 
her boyfriend has a wife. Yeah. <laughs> she is helping this man. She is the this is the girl that this guy is cheating on his wife with. Yes. She she And is, that guy also has kids. She is his mistress. Um and uh when around these guys, she dresses extremely skimpily and yeah. expresses her sexuality with, with 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 zero care in the world. Yeah. And all these things are good in my opinion, but society looks at that person yeah. and goes like, and, Oh, of course you got raped. Yeah. And the funny <laughs> thing is the how to put it, the movie kind of does this thing where it, it, one of those, no, that feels real, which is, had the guy not gotten weird, she probably would have let him break off a piece. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah. 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 She was like, okay with the guy until he started getting pushy. Yeah. You know, like she might have actually gone for it. Like, that's the other thing. Like, I, like it's a good, it's a, it's a clear cut case of like, dude, the problem is you. Yeah. You would have been fine if you didn't act like you. Yeah, all of a sudden. yeah if you didn't do that, you know? not, and that's before the rape. That's like, dude, this awkward shit that you're doing right here. Yeah, that's why she's saying no. Fucking get through your fucking head. You know, you and, know? And, they, and the film also like it goes out of its way to like film her in this very sexualized manner at the beginning of the movie because oh, this yeah. is how the guys see her. You know, yeah, and they do a really does a really good job. It does a really. I love the way this movie is constructed. Yeah, yeah, and it, it makes it. The movie makes it very clear that the problem literally is not taking no for an answer. Yes, yes. You know, and she. Is, Everything would have been fine if you just like okay, no. Yeah, if he had just been like, all right, fine, whatever. I'm just. You gonna, got to dance with her. I'm gonna, know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry, masturbate and cry or something. Yeah. You know, like whatever. You know, but no, he can't do that. And then, as bad as that is, the cover ups oh, even yeah. fucking worse. Because they're going to fucking straight up murder her. And then they run her off a cliff. And then they're like, all right, we'll clean that up later. I suppose we should. Whoa. Okay, I highly recommend this movie. But I feel like we should probably move on to spoilers soon. All right, that's a good point. Um, We watched this movie on Amazon. And I'll include an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. So that you too can watch this movie. If you click that link and buy or rent the movie with that link, I will get a kickback from it. And uh, I could use all the kickbacks you are willing to give me. So go ahead. And uh, I suppose let's uh, move on to the spoilers. Okay, so they run this girl off a cliff. <laughs> I'm not even sure why we're really even worrying about spoilers because at the at the end of the day, you know what this movie is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Girl, it's a rape revenge movie. Girl gets raped. Guys try to kill her. She fucking survives and kills them off one by one, leading into an ultimate confrontation with her, her ex boyfriend. Boy Slash guy she's the mistress for. Yeah. And uh, fuck is this movie brutal. Oh, yeah. This movie's brutal. It's bloody and as fuck. Like, when they throw her off the cliff, she falls on a fucking Ooh, tree. Oh, yeah. This little tree she thing. It's like impaled. a broken tree. And is impaled on the damn thing. And then has to burn the tree so that it will give enough so that she can break off and land on the ground. Yeah. And then crawl <laughs> to yeah. fucking safety. <laughs> with the fucking thing inside her because if she pulls it out she's just gonna bleed out yeah you know yeah. and she's and she has that thing in her for like a huge chunk of this movie until she finally finds like a cave after taking out one of the guys and stealing his yeah. uh, motorbike uh, or moped or whatever it is um stealing his ATV yeah uh, getting far enough away from them that she feels like she has so she can time find a cave take some very, very strong ass peyote that the guys had. Oh my god, that's right. Half that part of this movie, she's fucking tripping balls. She's tripping balls for like an entire <laughs> like thirty minutes of this movie because she takes the peyote because they establish early on in the peyote that the peyote is so fucking strong that it will make you go crazy and that there was a guy who was sawing his arm off because he couldn't feel it. Yeah, yeah. And, and so she she takes it. So that she can mend herself. Yeah. Yeah, so she could she could do first aid. Yeah, you she stitch, could Rambo it. Stitch herself together, tape herself up, and fucking like burn her wounds shut. Yeah. Oh, that's that that's the only thing I wish the movie had gone farther with was the aspect of it's a rape revenge movie, but as she's getting revenge, she's tripping balls. Oh man, that would have been great. <laughs> But I did love the sequence where she's tripping. Oh balls. no, it was great because that led to a lot of really great. Like this is for the most part, this is more of like an action movie than it is a horror movie, even though oh, there's yeah. horrifying things in it. But like the, the they had some great like jump scare moments with her yeah. hallucinations, you know, and some great fake outs where like she gets up and crawls out or whatever, but it's she's she's still hallucinating and she's still in the cave. Yeah, you know, like they had these great moments. Um, 
And the other thing is that it's super fucking satisfying watching her take these guys out. Yeah, and it, the movie and the movie gets surprisingly funny. Oh god! During the revenge part. Oh god! Yeah. Oh my god! Especially the shootout with the dude. Now here's the thing: as we said, the ultimate bad guy is not the rapist. No, the, the, in a, that, in an interesting that twist. Was so that was really fascinating. In an interesting twist. The most. Um, the character, the, the villain you find the most epi- empathy for is ironically the rapist because he is the one guy who is like, we're going too far. I'd rather go to the jail than do this. Like, he's yeah. like, he's yeah. like, he actually starts to care for her in this fucked up, twisted way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and they also go out of your way to make you see him as pathetic. Oh, yeah. He's super pathetic. Yeah. He is not like, you know, strong alpha male, come yeah. here woman type. He's, kind of a bozo and the funny thing is is you want to talk about toxic masculinity like that's why the other guys look down on him and shit yeah. like that. but i'm also kind of just sitting there like going oh my god like you could have like boyfriend dude like you're the biggest douchebag in this movie because all you really had to do is fucking turn in your shitty ass friend that you don't like anyway yeah <laughs> yeah like if or if he had shot him it had just been like shot all right. him dead like oh my god like Fuck! Like, yeah, she would have been freaked out, but it would be yeah, better than yeah, fucking yeah, killing her. But that would have been better, <laughs> better than know? killing her. Either way, you have a body you have to dispose of. Like, yeah, and that that oh god, that's obviously part, obviously yes. huge part of the movie. Oh god, yeah, you know, which is oh well, we're just gonna we, we better kill the woman. Like I said, like it it definitely serves as like a metaphor for the way we handle rape. Oh yeah, like like the initial rape itself feels very real, but the like the metaphors for the aftermath, you know, the the the, the guy who believes but just doesn't care because he wants to save his own skin. You yeah, know? like all that shit, like that shit felt like oh man, I I know you're handling handling this in metaphor, but this is a story people need to see. Oh like, yeah, 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 it really <laughs> is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the the real brutal, like, fucking fight scene is, of course, between her and her ex-boyfriend. Oh, my God. We're, like, it's so Damn. fucking bloody that the floors are just covered with blood. Yeah. That, and that, they're, like, that, slipping and sliding on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, the amount of blood that apparently a human body has in this movie oh, is a little unbelievable. Okay, she should have bled out, like, at the beginning of the movie when she was thrown off the cliff. The yeah. other guys should have bled out multiple times. <laughs> the boyfriend by the end of the movie should be a pale husk. That is yeah, strange. yeah, he should just be like a deflated fucking balloon. But you like, know what? <sighs> I got what they were going for because the thing that needed to be satisfying in this is that her survival and her revenge needed to be. That's the part that needed to be glorified. Yes. Yeah. The rape is unglorified, but the survival and the revenge that's glorified because that. That is the satisfaction. Yeah, that is, yeah. It was that's the release of the was, tension. It was deeply satisfying. Oh man, and it's it's I. It's so weird to say it's a very fun rape revenge movie, and there's like but some, it actually is. It this the second part of the movie is actually really fun, and this it reminded me a lot of Everly in that like the action sequences. Oh yeah, like the sequence with the car. Oh my god, that action sequence is a legit good action sequence. Yeah, that is amazing. Like, yeah. Like that's some real oh ass God. fucking filmmaking right there. Like, oh, oh my man. God, yeah, all the oh my God, like I also love how colorful that... the movie is. Oh yeah, it's a very very beautiful movie. Like there've been a lot more people going like, you know, we're tired of this desaturated color oh, palette. Yeah. Fucking let's bring the brilliance up. And they did a good job because they also like used the color for metaphors and stuff like that. Like, I like yeah, that. You know? yeah, yeah, they really did because like whenever whenever she's being seen as sexual, like you know, there's a lot of pink. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know, by the end of it, everything's red. Red, yeah, it goes <laughs> red with blood. Red. The fucking sands are red with blood. blood. <laughs> oh my god! There's also there, there's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of that um, uh, metaphor that I that um, I pointed out, and I spit on your grave, where she bleeds but doesn't die. Yes. you know the kind the men- menstruation lot of imagery. That. There's a lot of that. <laughs> Everyone else fucking dies, oh, but like, she survives. Yeah, but she survives, you know? They fucking... They, she can bleed she gets, for she four gets days raped. straight. She gets penetrated by a fucking tree. She fucking gets shot and stabbed and fucking limps half the movie. Yeah. By the end of it, she gets her men. She fucking gets she fucking them. Gets. And they're all fucking hunters, by the way. They go oh, yeah, out to like the bros. desert to hunt wolves and yeah. shit. <laughs> to help hunt coyotes and shit. Like, Actually, oh god, the fun, the funniest one is between her and her and the rapist. Oh yeah, where they're fucking shooting at each other, <laughs> but they can't hit shit because one's so fucked up and the other is high. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. Oh man. Okay. I, 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 
I don't know what what else to say about this movie other than I fucking love revenge. It oh. is up there with I Spit on Your Grave in terms of a fantastic rape revenge movies. Yeah, um, so it's if you, really good. If you like rape revenge <laughs> movies, if you if if you are not, if this a, had been the remake of I Spit on Your Grave, oh yeah, I would definitely have been very happy. way better. It's a way better remake <laughs> in that regard. Also, if you if you just need to see some rapists getting fucked up, then watch this, this movie. Because goddamn, do we need oh that right God. now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's yeah. You just like all right. This is what you do. You just get a dub, and what we should actually maybe we'll provide you with a sound clip. We'll just say Kavanaugh, and <laughs> you take that clip of me saying Kavanaugh, and just edit it anytime they they put it. Over the main, they say the main villain's name. Hey, <laughs> Kavanaugh. You know, we got a fucking... The Kavanaugh cut. Yeah, the <laughs> Kavanaugh cut. This fucking movie. Yeah. Oh, man, the comment section is going to be beautiful right now. Look at them. They're so fucking angry. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I just realized. We could fucking go with Kavanaugh, the fucking uh, rapist dude, could be um, Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Lindsey. Oh, man. Kavanaugh. Who'd be, who'd be the third guy? Oh, what, what, what the fuck is the dude? Like, the fucking, like, Jeff, Jeff Flakes or something like that. Oh, God. Or Susan Collins. <laughs> Susan Collins. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All those old motherfuckers in the Senate look the same to me. <laughs> is that ageist? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe we ought to, maybe we ought to, maybe we ought to, like, pull it back. We'll make the main bad guy Trump. We'll make the, the rapist <laughs> Kavanaugh, and we'll make the last guy Lindsey Graham. You just edit that in. The movies, you know. Now it's 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 even more topical. This is gonna be an angry ass comment section. And I, I I I can't wait for your anger. Fuck it. <laughs> anyway, my fellow gorehounds, uh, where can they find you, Count Jackula? Oh, you can find me on social media at Twitter. Uh, at, at count underscore Jackula. You can find me on Instagram. I'm spending a lot more time there these days. Uh, Satanic Jacula, and you can of course follow me on Twitch every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and every Sunday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sweet. And you all know me at the Horror Guru on Twitter and Facebook, and you're already at my YouTube page, so why would I link that to you here? Oh, that yeah. would just be redundant. Oh yeah, I have a YouTube <laughs> page as well. You know, I have a YouTube channel. You do. You, you know, do. You could you could subscribe you could smash that like button. Smash that like yeah. button. Smash that like button like she smashed his face. <laughs> Peace out, my fellow gorehounds. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>